The film opens with a couple, James and M. Foster, waking up in a hotel room. They are on vacation in the Croatian town of Lee Tolka, staying at an exclusive resort. As they head out, a nearby gathering of locals prepares for an event called the summoning. Various patrons wear grotesque-looking masks as part of the tradition. James and M share a meal, but it seems James is not as interested as M in taking in what the area has to offer. After breakfast, James watches a racing event and is approached by a young woman named Gabby Bauer. She tells James she is a fan of his book, and she invites him to have dinner with her and her husband Alvin. That night, the Fosters join the Bowers for dinner. Gabby says she is an actress that works in commercials. When asked about his next book, James says he lacks inspiration, and it is mentioned that M's family is wealthy. The couples later go on the dance floor, and James and Gabby exchange looks. The following day, M feels uneasy as she learns that Lee Tolka has a high crime rate targeting foreigners. The two are then met by Gabby and Alban, who take them out for a drive to the countryside despite strict rules for guests not to leave the resort. The couples spend the afternoon by the beachside. James excuses himself as M mentions how her father doesn't like him since he runs a publishing company and tells M not to marry a writer, but she doesn't care because she hates her dad. James finds a quiet spot to pee and is found by Gabby, who begins to masturbate him to completion. As night falls, the drunken couples start making their way back to the resort with James driving. He ends up hitting a pedestrian crossing the street, killing the man. Everyone panics, but they move the body off the side of the road and make their way back with Alban resuming the driving. The following day, James is met by officers at his door who come to arrest him for the hit and run. The Fosters are taken down to the police station where James meets Detective Thresh. He informs James that the car that was driven was given to them by Thresh's uncle, but for his sake, he has him lie during the interrogation and say that the Bowers stole the car. Thresh states that the policy for crimes like the hit and run is death, where the force-born son of the family will kill the perpetrator to preserve the family's honor. However, Thresh offers James a chance to clone himself so that his double will take the fall for his crime, as this is a policy in Lee Tolka for wealthy visitors. James agrees to go through with it. James undergoes the procedure, stepping inside a chamber and coating his body in red liquid. He experiences trippy visions, including seeing Gabby walking nude around him. When the process is over, James and M get a look at James's double. They sit to witness the execution, where the victim's eldest son shows up to stab the double to death. M is horrified, especially since the double begs for his life. M is desperate to leave the resort after what she witnessed, but James pretends to lose his passport as an excuse to stay. He tells M to leave without him, and she obliges. James extends his stay at the resort and is met by Gabby, who explains things to him. Alban developed the Infinity Pool as part of a deal, but two workers were killed in the construction and the Bowers were arrested and sentenced to death. Their discovery of cloning was what has kept them alive. Gabby brings James to meet with Alban and other rich tourists Charles, Jennifer, Dr. Moden and Bex, who have had doubles made for their crimes. The group then heads out with the creepy masks from earlier to engage in hedonistic acts. They break into the home of a wealthy couple while they are having sex, and they tie them up. Another guest comes firing a gun at them, prompting Gabby to start shooting at him and the other guests, and Alban is also shot in the leg. They end up making doubles for each of them after they are found out, and they sit to watch their doubles' executions like it's a show. James goes back to his hotel room to find them still there, disgusted at his decision to stay at the resort. He coldly tells her to run back to her dad. James then engages in a drug-fueled sexual affair with Gabby, even joining in orgies with her. In the evening, James joins the group as they break into a facility and start beating a man who has a bag over his head. James brutally beats the man until he unmasks him and sees it as one of his own doubles, which starts to unsettle him. He goes to lock himself in the bathroom. James comes to his senses and grabs his passport, hopping on a bus to get himself out of there. Unfortunately, Gabby and her group chase after the bus, and she begins to fire a gun at it, knowing James is in there. She forces him to come out, and they make him walk in front of their car. Gabby then begins to mock James, saying she never actually read his book, and taunts him with one of the many scathing reviews that the book received. James attempts to make a run for it, but Gabby shoots him in the leg. He wanders as far as he can until he is out of sight of the group. James ends up collapsing near a farm and is taken in by the farmers to recuperate. He experiences terrifying hallucinations, such as the eldest son of the hit-and-run victim coming to choke him, as well as visions of them joining the group to torment him. 
As he tries to leave, James is found by Gabby and her group, who force him to complete his transformation by having him kill his own double. James initially refuses until the double begins to attack him like a wild animal, and James reluctantly beats him to death. As he breaks down, Gabby holds James close and lets him suckle on her breast. The next day, James calls M apologizes for his behavior and says he is going home. He gets on a bus with the rest of the group to head to the airport. However, while he waits there, James changes his mind and returns to the resort, just as the stormy season begins, and he sits by the pool in the pouring rain, fully broken from the experience. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.